Here we go, almost person reading, all that you need to know about your person moving forward. Let's take for the next 72 hours, so what is happening in your connection. Spread messages, almost personal, soulmate, twin flame, all signs collective. Okay, first uh, read we have is left hanging, no closure. So right now if your person has just dropped you or there is no communication, you know this person has left you hanging, there was no closure, you do not know why this has happened, okay, like, like many of you guys have no, no idea as, as, as to why this person is ghosting you or not talking to you or not giving you that attention, okay, like what else I supposed to know, what else I supposed to know, spirit messages. Personal issues uh, never been loved, bad past. So for many of you, the, the person you're in connection with has never had a very good, uh, healthy relationship. Neither with their parents, neither with their loved, uh, like their, uh, their, their romantic partner. So they have issues dealing with it. I know this may sound like an excuse to many of you, but sometimes it does matter. Okay, when you have gone through a very painful past, you get, you you have never been loved. It's difficult to accept love. Okay, you do, you do not know if it's genuine, if someone is faking it. So you have many questions, right? So with personal issues, never been loved and bad past, your person could be dealing with that. Your person could not trust the love you gave them. Okay, one more card. Oh, what should you be knowing about this connection? Where is it going for the next three days? Don't trust them good for nothing toxic. So I believe the universe is wanting to tell you that you should not be trusting this person for long term. This person has issues and you shouldn't completely devote yourself or just you know invest fully into this connection. Keep your boundaries, set your boundaries, maintain your um, your, your self-respect. Do not, you know, I've, I have I read a lot of posts on social media, Insta, where, 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 where people write about if you love someone, you should give in yourself completely. If you are a giver, you are a blessing from the universe. No, darling. If you are a giver, you deplete yourself giving, over giving, and you have nothing left for yourself. I don't really go by that, whatever. Um philosophy or, or whatever way of living i'm not fucking put, put this in any which way neither am i a monk and neither are you a monk when a monk says that it makes sense because a monk has no attachment a monk is a spiritual being who's who's meant to be giving blessing helping but you are not you are human you have you you have your uh, you know at attachments you are bound to certain things you cannot keep giving without receiving you should set a boundary here okay so let's start your reading, all that you need to know. So how does your person view you now? How does your person really view you now? The moon card, your person is having doubts regarding what you are doing, uh, like, like whether you're keeping your options open. You may not be exactly opening up to them. You may be keeping your, 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 your secrets you may be not exactly uh, being, uh, you know, very attentive to their messages. If they are messaging you, you may not be liking their social media post. So they are curious about you. They have their doubts and fears regarding you. Okay. They also feel like you are keeping a low profile. You are not wanting uh, others to know what you are doing. Okay. One more card for how do they think about you now? How do they truly think about you? With four of pentacles darling to be very honest this person is still wanting to hold on to you i know you may hate me for this but you know because your person hasn't been showing or doing anything like that but your person is very much wanting to still hold on to you why why would someone want to lose someone who's so pure who's so good right would you want to lose yourself if you had met you in person like someone who's like you someone who loves like you someone who who who, who you know gives like you you would never uh, want to leave that person. So likewise, you know. So I I feel your person is still wanting to hold on to you. In terms of their energy towards you now. In terms of their energy towards you. What's the energy towards you? Still? All, all signs collective. Energy towards you is Knight of Cups. So they are still very much in their feelings for you. Even if they are not behaving this way. Or not acting this way. Or not really doing anything uh, that, you know. Uh, Makes you feel that they still have shit for me, you know, but uh, they still have shit for you. They still love you. They still 
holding on to you they still have fears of losing you so it's still on okay in terms of your energy for the next couple of days in terms of your energy for the next couple of days so make your friends I believe you're wanting to be in control of your life, your own self, your own energy, your own mood. So that is good. That is very good. You're, you're giving into self-love. You may be pretending to be heartless, detached, cold, but I believe you're saving yourself. I, I, I believe you're trying to take control of your life. I believe you're taking, um, you know, uh, you know, like you do not want this person to use you anymore. Okay, I uh, feel you're very much holding on to what you feel is right. You're not wanting to compromise or bend or or let this person, you know, e uh, say things to you that are not true or or, or make you do things that you not want to do. Okay, or be a part of something that you feel isn't worth. You know, uh, uh, so exactly the emperor energy. You're wanting to be in control of everything. You're wanting to do the right thing for yourself. And you're just not going to, um, you know, be a part of something that is not going anywhere. Emperor would never uh, compromise for any bullshit, right? So you're in that energy. One card for what's coming up for you guys in the next couple of days. What's coming up for you guys in the next couple of days. With two of swords, I believe you're a bit indecisive regarding where your life is going, what's coming in your life. You're a bit confused as well. Even if you have option, you're not uh, completely focused on one thing. You're trying to just not think about it. You're trying to not really give in into anything. So you're going to be unbothered or, or forcefully not wanting to uh, see where things are going in your life. You're, you're just wanting to stay away from all the mess. Okay. Uh, one card for how does your person feel about you? Know, how does your person truly feel about you? At this time, how do you see your person feeling about their honest true feelings? With Seven of Pentacles, they are they are rather waiting, being patient, wanting to see where things would go. In terms of whether they are uh, whether they are still attracted to you or, or, or whether they have found someone else. Trust me when I say this, even if they have another person in the picture, even if they are giving it to someone else, they are still very attracted to you. They still think about you. I would still say that there are 70% uh, into you, maybe 20, 30% into the other person, but 70% uh, their, their heart still lies with you. Okay, they, they still think about you. At nights, they still possibly wonder where this is going with you. They are still very attracted to the way you look, the, the energy. Sometimes you do not have to look pretty, pretty or hot or whatever for a person to be attracted, you know. Uh, sometimes the energy is enough to, to for that pull, for that crazy pull, okay. One card for what's in their heart space for you, what's in their heart space for you. In their heart space, you are still their person. You are still the one they want. Okay, uh, their heart still beats for you. I I know in the past they might have been missing you. For some of them, uh, they might have not reached out. Reason being, they 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 wanted you to reach out. Okay, five of swords is that energy where someone is wanting the other person to do all the work, right? So in in terms of that one card for their head space, how are they thinking about this connection now? In terms of their head space, how are they thinking about the connection now? Even in the hate space, this person might want to choose themselves over you. If they have to make a choice between you and them, you know, if that makes sense to you, they're wanting to choose them. If they have to uh, give up on something in order to, you know, give in to this connection, then they might not be wanting to do that. Say, suppose uh, they have a very stable marriage. Maybe it's a loveless marriage. Maybe they have a very stable job, but. Um, you know, they are not ready to leave that in order to choose you. They are still wanting to hold on to that, okay? Please clarify the Hierophant card for me. Please clarify the Hierophant card for me. With Page of Pentacles, I believe in the recent past, they, they have given up on you or they are trying to give up on you, but they are not being able to. In their hate space, they still want to keep the communication going. They do not want to be all romantic and loving and emotional, but they want to keep the communication going with you. Okay, with Page of Swords, at this current moment, I know you guys hate this when I say this, but they stalk you. They keep a watch on your social media, your, your, your pictures, you know, wherever you post shit. I do not know. Okay. If this person lives close by, then they might also be keeping a physical watch on you. Like they might be, you know, like 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 possibly going around your house a couple of times to see, you know, whether you're uh, uh, staying there, whether you're entertaining someone else. They 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 want to know uh, like what you're doing. Okay, one card 
for their intentions towards you for the next couple of days their overall intentions towards you for the next couple of days with page of wands i see this person trying to or wanting to communicate or wanting to message okay one card for what action i want to take towards you what action i truly want to take towards you in terms of action they want to reunite okay uh in terms of action they want to get back with you they may not behave as a romantic partner they might want to behave as a friend or a business partner some of you guys have a business relationship with this person okay one card for what can you expect from this person now what can you expect from your partner what can you truly expect from your partner I still feel like this person even if they want to reach out even if they want to have a conversation even if they want to hug you kiss you do you whatever blow you this person will still choose to wait on whether you're reaching out or not their ego or their pride is very much still getting in the way so for selected few of you i believe even after this person is madly uh you know wanting to reach out talk have a conversation know your life this person will still choose to stay away okay so for around 70% of you i would say that communication might not come in this 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 weekend reason being this person is wanting to see what you doing okay like whether you're going to reach out or not okay what do they want from you now what do they truly want from you now what do they truly want from you now they still want this darling they still want this connection even if they cannot offer you commitment they cannot let you go that's the truth okay one card for what sort of a connection do the thing they have with you what sort of connection do the thing they have with you uh sometimes they they forcefully want to believe that this is just a intellectual connection you guys um are very good in terms of communication the way you uh, you know speak about life or whatever deep shit okay but but uh, they want to sometimes think of it as a very a practical intellectual friendly connection okay but what do they truly feel deep down what do they truly feel and desire regarding this connection the hermit and sun and empress to try to be very honest they fear the longevity of the connection they fear this not ending well or they fear this not having a proper uh, future okay uh, they still have doubts about it to be very honest even if they have feelings for you they are forcefully wanting to believe that it is not more than just a connection okay a connection could be friendly not friendly friends who you have shit for but not wanting to have a relationship so something like that they do not want to call it or term it as the love or the you know relationship because they cannot have it so you know they are just pretending to not feel shit for you when they are very much feeling shit for you okay so i hope that makes sense to you for the next couple of days where where do we see this going for the next couple of days where do we see this connection going I still see you both on crossroads at crossroads and uh, still one uh, still wondering whether you should give up or not with the fool card a part of you wants to move in a different direction altogether okay a part of you is 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 done as always but sometimes you want to walk away but you don't walk away that's why you're still watching my video right so with 7 of cups there's going to be confusion you are still confused you do not know where th this person is wanting to take this connection but at the present moment what do they exactly want with you at the present moment what do they exactly want with you this person is still want, wanting to continue what you guys have okay they are, they are not in any which way wanting to give up on this okay marriage is something that concerns them a lot the the long term the future Okay, in the in 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 the near future, where do we see this connection going? In the near future, where do we see this connection going? I still see it on. I do not see it ending. I still see it on. Okay, uh, give me a message. 
this is a almost a extended reading so i'm 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 doing it so that you you guys get more understanding of what you guys are being a part of okay so spread messages from your person what would your person want to say to you or what would spirit want to let you know about your connection they feel you don't want them anymore so they may feel that you don't want them anymore so they may want to uh, wait for a sign from you okay one card for what should you be knowing about this connection you won't like and handle my real side so this person does have fears that you may not accept them uh, the real them you may want to reject the real them they feel like you just know a, a side of them but not the whole part you know the the whole real them they feel like you just know the exterior you know you, you do not know the interior once you get to know the interior you may not exactly want them okay uh, in the past i see took you for granted so in the past they did take you for granted because you were chasing them you, you know sometimes i i just get irritated when people chase their partners you know they they put an unnecessary effort and they and they want their partners to, to choose them see when you know that you already have someone and that person is obsessed behaving like a fan not a lover rather than a fan who is madly obsessed with you would you take that person seriously right so that i mean that was uh, how you were behaving in 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 the past okay so you got to know your uh, your self worth darling it's a lesson about self worth your self journey it's about setting boundaries do not cross the line do not deplete yourself do not disrespect yourself okay so one more message what should you be knowing about this connection and this person in the past was always looking for better connections always looking for better uh, opportunities so chances are this person might have always been hungry like like when i mean that you know when you are in a uh, in a place when you feel that you could do better than this or oh, i could I, i could find something better than this or what if i find someone better than this one so you know you never stop entertaining that's what a person has been doing they have not stopped entertaining okay so this are your messages and this is your reading i've also done libra extended if you've already purchased that a couple of days or a day back then don't purchase it again it's from the 4th till the 7th of uh, march so all those who are interested please kindly book that through etsy um, please like the video i i request you all to like the video because it it really makes a difference um, in 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 views and in, in for the video to get a more reach So yes, all those who want a personal reading for, uh, with me, uh, you could reach out on, on my website and book one that fits best. There are around four, five categories all together. So choose one that fits best for you. Thank you for coming in, uh, and thank you for all your support so far. I hope to see you soon, guys. Cheers.